all right guys this is the lesson what i've learned from experience you know regarding all of the empaths like consuming energy of the people around you uh basic line what i've learned is when these things are happening you you do not understand it to the level of understanding that it needs to be understood uh, basically you actually need to heal yourself and your ego has to be in a healthy place where the where the their ego of an empath and the ego of maybe the narcissistic person or the egoistic person have their egos you know we all have our ego separately but uh, what we have to understand is that the empath, if it doesn't have a healthy ego, it doesn't know the boundaries and the violations, you know, that can be caused to yourself. So if you are looking for some reliability or you are dependent on someone, then most likely that if someone says something to you or they try to get into your vibe, then it affects you because you don't have that healthy ego for yourself. You don't know the boundaries for what lets you in in your mind in your heart and that actually affects our energy you know more it affects our energy so much that we drain that energy trying to figure out what the other person has said and if if somebody says some negative things to you what will happen is you consume that energy not knowing that it is not about you it's not about you at all uh, I have uh, watched a couple of videos and uh, out of those videos there were two videos which I could relate very very closely the first one would be when Jay-Z explains about the uh, in his uh, interview about the uh, about this ego thing uh, where you live in one place and there are a lot of people around you and what happens is that if you let if you let your ego get or con consumed by the the negative person's ego you consume that negative energy you have to look at it in a way as that that person has his life on his own and you have your life on his own but that ego has to be healthy ego it has to be there you know if you don't have that ego for yourself at all then you tend to don't you wouldn't know what you're consuming to yourself you wouldn't know what you're letting uh, negativity or whatever someone says to your mind or in your heart and that, that, that's what very much affects the energies of uh, empaths. Uh, the second video what I have came across was uh, about the... Uh, it was Kevin Gates and his wife explaining about his life when he, was, uh, when he went to the jail. And his wife explained, uh, explained it in, in a very proper form, you know. Uh, when it comes to it, uh, it was like... It was like, you know, she was already like pure or clean in her heart and then she could see what he was going through and he, she made, it, made sure that he has to fight his own battles to get to the surface, you know, and then find that clean, healthy ego that has to be present. So once you get that, uh, what will happen is you will be able to see, you will be able to know that this is who you are, like from your place of existence. This is who you are and then if anybody does something to you you will look at them from this clear point of ego that is uh, there's something could be wrong with that person too let him figure the things out for himself we can you don't need to get into a, an argument or a fight or a, you know a battle where you just argue about things so my point was once you get to my, my point is like all of the empaths or people who are healing have to get to a healthier place in in their minds and in their hearts and also in their egos you know you have to have an ego like healthy ego which lets you know which has a healthy boundaries which doesn't tolerate disrespect it doesn't tolerate abuse it doesn't, doesn't tolerate like anything that is not healthy or that is not positive you know it understands itself it will actually guide you if you just rely on it but if you consciously try to provoke like say like if you have conscious beliefs about some things then it will block you you know 
So it's better off having that healthy ego and then viewing people from that healthy ego so that you don't consume their uh, ego and then, you know, get yourself stirred up. I think that Jay-Z explained it best, you know. If you actually, if a negative person who has is angry or whatever, you need to look at that person as that person itself. You are completely different from that person, you know. Your ego cannot be you know, consumed or cannot be connected to the other person's ego. You just have to view it, make sure that you just view it, uh, considering say that, hey, that person is angry or whatever, and he, he needs to maybe need some, to do some changes in his life. And if you need to, you need to view it from your point as well. Like if you need to do some changes for yourself, but from a healthy point of view, like you can, most empaths, I would say 98% of empaths, or I would say 95% of empaths would be able to analyze uh, because they always think like, is it me that has been, who has done this wrong or is it because of me or is it something that I can do to improve? So that rationalization in your mind is very good because it helps you to, you know, do minor changes in your life for your betterment and for when you go in the real world and how you deal with that because some things come across as negative as a new experience and you wouldn't know how to deal with it but always you view it from a point of healthy ego like you could say something like is this something that i need to change or is this something that the other person has not worked on their self in this area or a narcissist and leave that person there while the while you do the changes what you can from your positive point of view and leave it at that because the other persons cannot you can do nothing about that you know just make sure you don't consume the other person's ego because that once you consume that other person's ego that's where we fucked up but then you just start to think about different thoughts i would do these things and then emotions come up and get uh, the anger comes up and trying to figure out why didn't i say this why didn't i say that and then all of that just spirals downwards, you know, so better to not get involved. It's kind of like you don't let someone's negativity con pour into your ego, you know. You just have to have that shield, have a healthy shield uh, for yourself, you know, for your light and not be consumed by the darkness that is shed. Ooh, that's what I have to say for today. If, uh, if I can explain it a little more, I will try to write it down on a, uh, on a book or maybe like on some notes, try to share it over here. Thank you.